Hey everyone, Real Witch Doctor here. If you're interested in seeing where we're taking our new loadout to today, stick around and check out the video. Uh, today we're taking our run from Fresno down to Barstow. Last time we left off, we stopped in Fresno. Uh, dropping off a bulldozer and so today we're going to be taking a milling machine down to Barstow uh, I made sure this time my character here got some sleep because uh, last time we were driving while we were tired and he was kind of blacking out uh, but I do believe I need to go get fuel and yes I do so let's go ahead and take on off out that way and go grab some fuel Parking brakes on. Let's get the parking brake off. Start heading out. I want to say there should be a fuel stop around out here somewhere. So how's everybody's day been today? Wasn't a bad day for me starting out. I came home, was looking forward to getting Grand Theft Auto's LSPDFR updated. There's a notification that the Rage Hook plugin, which allows you to run to run all the mods uh, was released uh, for the new update that GTA put out for their new heist mo mod and got it all installed and none of it worked <laughs> and that would be the story uh, so I wound up where's the uh, fuel stop sorry I'm, I'm trying to find a fuel stop here as well uh, so I wound up having to reinstall uh, Grand Theft Auto reinstalled all the plugins, and my fault for not checking to make sure that the Raid Hook, uh, Raid Rage Hook plugin was working ahead of time. Uh, all that work went for nothing, and still running into some issues and trying to sort out what the hell is going on with that that mod. Oops, uh, I want to say the fuel station's right here, unless it's up there. Usually these things show up on your... Let's see... I think it's over right down the road there. Okay. Yeah, so then I was going to shoot a video on Battlefront 2 and keep that story going since we did one yesterday. And... Origin decided to say I had a 10 gig update for it. Which isn't a problem on downloading and installing. But I leave Origin running with automatic updates so these games would stay up to date, just like Steam would take care of it. Uh, so that kind of didn't make me feel any better. So I just kind of fall back over here to a good old American trucker. This game's always taking care of me. And it's fun. So I hope everybody's day was way better and way more eventful than mine. <laughs> I don't want a tire, I want fuel. Uh, that looks like they should be up down over here somewhere. I probably should have got fuel last time when I finished out the video. But that would be all on me at this point, that's okay. That looks like we're going the right direction anyways. Maybe? <laughs> I'm not sure. The repair shop. That's not fuel. this way a little bit. Oh, there's the fuel station. All right. Perfect. I believe we should be able to get up around the back here to it. Nope, 
Looks like we gotta drive around the block. Oops. a smooth turn yeah, and then trying to record this video was four attempts because my momo steering wheel for whatever reason decided to say it wasn't installed <laughs> it's murphy's law okay nobody coming nobody coming through the weekend I want to check out Ghost Recon's new Predator mod I was watching the videos on it um, earlier today and it looked pretty cool you know team of four I don't know if you could do a, a team of less than four uh, but it looked pretty fun Go. let's grab some fuel and Guzzle, 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 guzzle. <laughs> Man, look at that. 200 bucks so far. 356 dollars for fuel. All right. Now let's get to moving. coming gonna make our way out it shouldn't flag us for the red light here we're making a turn Oops. Ah, got away with it. <laughs> awesome. Yep, I'm that person driving the blinker on. <laughs> so how far out are we from? Uh, maybe we should move over a little bit. Nine miles out from picking up our load. Actually, Barstow shouldn't be too bad of a run. It's just down to Bakersfield and cut over, drive through the desert. I do like to thank everybody for watching um, as of this morning I was close to a thousand views on this channel which you know for a new channel to me that's a oh, shit uh, pretty good accomplishment at least it tells me something that you guys are enjoying the videos that you're seeing here that makes me feel good at least it knows that I'm doing something right You know, and I'm always open for more suggestions. Definitely post anything down in the, the comments. If there's something you want to see, um, something that you like. If you think there's something that I need to improve on, definitely let me know. I know one of the things I want to improve is getting a better microphone for the audio and giving it so close to Christmas. I was thinking about buying one, but I told Santa wife to, <laughs> some people thought that was funny at work, but I told my Santa wife uh, what I wanted so we'll see if I get that 
And if she gets it for me, awesome. And if not, no big deal. I'll just go buy it. Kind of what I do anyways. You know, it's nothing fancy. I've been, you know, just for starting out, I don't have that kind of income to go get like a nice six, seven hundred dollar microphone and all the hardware equipment. So I'm just looking at getting the uh, Blue Yeti microphone. So looks like we just got to spin it around this way. Perfect. Should be able to back that thing straight on in. I'd like to believe we are pretty square. I'm surprised they don't put backup cams on these things. Oh, nice. And hitch that bad boy. All right, looks like we're on. Let's start boogieing. Yeah, so I've been doing some, looking at some reviews with the uh, the Blue Yeti. I do like with some of the features where you can do a complete 360 Omni on it, uh, or like a bi-direction front and back, if you're doing like a podcast. I'm not a podcast person, unfortunately. Or you can uh, narrow it down to where it's just right in front of you uh, and blocking out all the other sound around. So I thought that was kind of cool. And I know from a few other people I've talked to that have it, um, do like it. Uh, so I think it'll be a good buy. Oh man, this load is heavy. I'm feeling it. And once we get out of the hills, oh, hills, up off this incline here, we should be able to start moving a little better. She is certainly a large road, or not a road, <laughs> large load. I'm gonna stop right here and see if I can get a nice thumbnail. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. Let's get moving. Uh, I don't know how well that th um, thumbnail came out, so I'm gonna probably take another one when the uh, lighting is a little better. Hopefully this light stays green for us and we can make this turn and get onto the freeway. Actually, there isn't a light for us. Duh. There we go. Nice turn. Oops. Shit. <laughs> Get moving. Air wide. God, that is a long trailer. center line if I don't have to. Oh, please change for me light.
Try to keep her moving. All right. <laughs> All right, so we wasted a little bit of time going to get fuel. Which we actually rolled by anyways on, on the way out of town. So I would have been better off just picking up the load and then getting fuel. Live and learn. We had a rant about how the games were not cooperating. <laughs> And now we are going to Barstow, which isn't much further to Vegas, which sounds like a good idea. We'll all go to Vegas, go hit up Kahunaville and uh, at the uh, Treasure Island, get some drinks. They got an awesome drink there. They slap in one of those yardsticks. It's called the, uh, I think it's called the Otter Pop. It tastes like a blue Otter Pop. Ah, oh, it's phenomenal. You down one of those and you're feeling pretty happy. You know, and, and I'm not a buffet person, but the uh, buffet, the breakfast buffet, the, particularly the Sunday, uh, Sunday brunch at Treasure Island is pretty damn cool. I'm usually more of just a restaurant person, not a buffet guy, but that was good. So my truck IR is going nuts. shit gonna blow that motor if I'm not careful <laughs> no I am not a truck driver so knowing the proper shift points or anything I just treat it like a car I know my dad was a truck driver for a while spent many a summers riding with him uh, mostly up and down California and I think once or twice in the Nevada uh, I enjoyed it, it was something to see something different every day it is definitely a very challenging profession and mad respect for those guys that do it day in and day out. Anyways, we were talking about buffets and stuff. What kind of uh, restaurants do you guys like? Or you guys like buffets? Uh, what's an awesome place that you guys like to eat at? Uh, Drop me a note and a comment of some cool places that you've seen. Um, doesn't matter where. I mean, big cities, small cities. I travel throughout the U.S. Uh, and it'd be kind of cool to check out different places that people recommend. I know one time when I was in Boston, uh, we stopped at a restaurant over along the harbor called uh, Legal's. That was really good food. Uh, I know the wife had clam chowder and she said it tasted like it just came out of the ocean and it probably just did that morning uh, I know every penny that we spent on the meal there it was beyond worth it uh, I'm a steak person myself I don't care for seafood uh, so I can at least vouch for the filet mignon at least the night I was there was really good you know any more for like when we Take off for a weekend or something. It's to Reno. It's a two hour drive from where I live. Uh, we eat at the various steakhouses. I've tried Charlie's and Grand Sierra, and it's hit and miss. Most of the time they're pretty good, but sometimes if it's really, really busy there, uh, the food can seem like it's a little rushed. Uh, I like the, uh, the steakhouse at the Pepper Mill. Every time we go there, we get uh, taken care of pretty well, get hooked up as, uh, with some of the food. Uh, never a bad experience there. So. Uh, I don't 
think I'm going to be able to cut this car off yet to get around here. Oops, some shit. <laughs> Come on, car, goodbye, so I can move over. Making good timing there, and I had uh, this little group here slow me down. So I'm gonna be that guy. Watch this car try to cut me off. I'll see you there. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. What you get for riding in my blind spot, asshole? That's what I get for being in a hurry as well. But what you gonna do? There we go. Now we're moving. Get around some of these guys going slow. Ah, can't keep it on the road. nefarious truck style <laughs> oh shit trying to get all fast and furious here and not paying attention no 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 shit please don't roll backwards No. Fuck. I shouldn't have stopped. Oh. Maybe it would help if I put it in first, huh? Damn it. There we go. Let's take a peek out here and see what's coming. Uh, I think we're all that way, definitely all right. That way, screw it. I'm going. There we go. Shit, hate it when all I have nothing but cords here tangling up. Wow, barely cut that one. Looks like we're in Bakersfield, so now it's just a cut over. 137 more miles. I was kind of hoping for a run back to Sacramento, but that didn't seem to give me anything. Although I didn't look through all of the runs either, so that's kind of on me. Sure, we're not speeding through here. As long as we can keep rolling, this will be good. I really don't want to have to stop if we don't need to. Ah, light. Figures. <laughs> enough. I tried. So what do you guys think of uh, the Battlefront video yesterday that I put up? 
Uh, definitely was a cool one. I like flying the X-Wing. Although I like flying the TIE Fighter too. Uh, but with the way the story had a sudden twist. Well, it wasn't a sudden twist. It was... I was kind of suspecting something, but the way it unfolded definitely threw me for a loop. But so far, I'm liking the, uh, the storyline on it. I had posted up a video with finishing out the campaign missions to Battlefield 4. And usually, I don't play the campaigns on those. Uh, I like playing that one strictly online. But there are weapons that you need to unlock in campaign mode in order to to um, use them online in a multiplayer environment. And so I was going through the story mode on it, and it, to me it was pretty disappointing. I felt like I was just let down. Uh, definitely could have had more to it, I, I think. You know, I thought Battlefront was feeling a little arcade-ish, but that one definitely felt arcade-ish to me. And how are, how are you guys liking the LSPDFR videos? I know when I kind of look back on the first few that I recorded to where I'm at now, um, playing it just by myself without recording it is one thing. And usually I'm just doing random stupid stuff. Uh, but when you're trying to do it for entertainment value, it puts a whole new level of, uh, I guess, I wouldn't say difficulty to it, uh, but definitely makes you have to stop and think. Uh, so I try to think about doing everything as real as possible to a degree. And I've, I've had my rages on one of them where I just kind of started shooting people just because uh, it's Grand Theft Auto, you know, <laughs> and you can get away with that in that game. Uh, but I've noticed as I was looking back on the, the last couple videos, especially my last one, uh, noticing now it's just becoming a little more natural and talking to myself, even though I do it when I'm not filming but maybe I just never really heard myself to where I was sounding kind of stupid, most likely. And now I'm just developing that skill of being able to talk to myself and not look like I'm crazy, <laughs> if that makes any sense. You know, sometimes it's hard to remember to talk while you're in the middle of doing something because you're so focused on that game. And Battlefield, when I start filming the multiplayers, uh, if I'm not playing with a group of people and it's by myself, I, I'm so focused and trying not to get killed or whatever it is I'm doing, I'll most likely forget to talk. Uh, uh, but at least uh, with a group of people, you'll hear the conversations going on. Uh, sometimes it's strategy and sometimes we're just talking shit to each other. Uh, just That's just how we are. Shouldn't be out much longer, another 100 miles. Looks like we're making that incline out, slow incline up to Barstow. If I remember right, this should pass us around, I think was it like Desert City or something like that out there? Maybe that's outside Palm Springs I'm thinking of for Desert City. Uh, anyways, you're just passing out in the middle of nowhere. on. I'm not going very fast. Blast a horn. <laughs> oh, turn the hazards off. Now we got some speed going. My track IR is getting a little wonky on me today. It's a nice little touch with the tumbleweeds. I remember one time when I was living in Arizona and one blew in front of me and I was just like preparing for this like massive impact and all it did is shattering in a bunch of little tiny sticks. It was like preparing for nothing. <laughs> so as I mentioned in one of my videos, a couple of videos ago, I don't remember it was a Battlefront video. This 
previous American Trucker video, or maybe it was one of my Grand Theft videos, uh, I was talking about maybe doing a FAQ uh, video, you know, just drop me some questions in the comments, and I would probably do something like this game here, where I can answer those questions and not have to be overly focused on everything else. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions or anything, I, th I know I've mentioned suggestion stuff but before, to drop those in the comments. Uh, but if you have any uh, questions you want to ask, uh, go ahead and pop them down into the comments and I'll try to gather up as many as I can and put them into the video. Definitely make sure I give you guys a shout out as well with it. And I do want to make a video of my project. I know I mentioned it once or twice in some of my videos uh, that I'm in the process of building a full scale Learjet 45 XR simulator, a uh, full one to one scale, just a cockpit version of it in inside a shell. Uh, and that thing has been a huge uh, undertaking of a project, uh, learning a lot of fun skills. And, on crafting things, uh, learn how to become semi-proficient in CAD, uh, learned, you know, uh, what was it, as illust not Illustrator, Inventor, AutoCAD Inventor, becoming proficient in that. I have a CNC machine that I wound up building uh, to cut my parts out, have them precise, uh, and working on now trying to make panels, anything where I can uh, save a buck or two here and there. Because if you start buying all these things, it can get a little expensive. Uh, but just learning, building prototypes, printing them out on my 3D printer, uh, making sure the mock-up is good. Uh, I learned how to do aluminum casting. That was pretty cool. Uh, what else? God, there's just so many things I've learned to do. I've never really welded before. Maybe a little bit here and there. Uh, but started getting more heavier into welding and building up some parts and realize I'm not very good at that. <laughs> but I think as with anything, practice will go a long ways and I'll get better over time. Man, even a highway patrol about cut my ass off, seriously. Amtrak IR, hold still. I don't need to hit one of these K rolls because that's going to wind up being bad. Alright, run to the right lane. Don't drive faster than the highway patrol. heading to Barstow. We want to get into the left lane. This is what it's telling us, so hopefully he's actually why, and I'm not getting into this lane for no reason. And so as I was saying earlier, we're just shy of a thousand views on this channel so far, which I think is a pretty good accomplishment, given I haven't been up a month yet, um, or at least on this channel, I haven't been up a month yet. Uh, 25 subscribers. I know some of them are pretty active and at least watching all the videos. I can't say for everybody that's active, but those that are watching and supporting this channel uh, in the view and the view times, I very much appreciate it. Definitely, as I mentioned earlier, it makes me feel pretty good being able to create content and provide some value of entertainment. You know, if anything, at least it'll help you out of deciding if you want to, to purchase one of these games or not. Uh, I know that's usually what I do is I'll start seeing a game, 
uh, taking a look into it, seeing if it's something I really want to do, watch videos of people playing it, and decide from there if I want to buy it or not. Oh, yeah, we gotta get off up here. of a truck down up here. Oh shit, there we go. Looks like I got an achievement unlocked on this bad boy. Cool. I got one car hanging out down there. Nobody coming that way. I was hoping the sun would be up so I can get a better thumbnail shot. Doing. I'm gonna sit there, then I'm gonna go. All right, let's swing this bad boy wide. Actually, let me just for shits and giggles. I'm gonna stop it right up here. All right, I'll be right back. I want to get this screenshot. We should still be under time. Yeah, my little guy is starting to get tired too. You can tell about a little bit over there as it's turning blue. He's not a long haul guy yet. That is for certain. But this looks like our place. Let's see where they want us to. Ah, shit. I'm in a little fast. see what they want so there's really nothing up here about swinging over there yeah let's do that let's see if we can do it okay let's rock this out Talking about cutting it a little on the close side here. You know, we hit these crates. Straighten her out. What do we need to back up a little bit? Just say forget it and just park it as is. I really don't want to damage this run. That might actually. Nah. All right, you know I'm gonna call it here. Cause I can mess with this like for the next 20 minutes and still not get it done. All right, so we got 273 miles, 52 minutes of time taken. Is that actual game time? Pretty close. And uh, about, what, two thirds of the way on level five at this point, cool. And of course we did have that accident, but we're up to 42 grand right now. The damage on the vehicle. Not really, I could probably take it over and get it worked on. Um, but at this point, I'm gonna call the video here. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, uh, hit those thumbs up. If you have any comments, suggestions, uh, any criticism that I, something I need to work on, post those down below. Um, share this video with your friends you know the more views we get uh, the greater faster this channel is going to grow and uh subscribe and hit that bell 
uh, to get notifications of new videos I upload daily. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching. Keep on trucking. I'm eastbound and down. Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. If you like what you've seen, hit that like button. Check out the other videos on this channel as well. Don't forget to subscribe to receive notifications on new uploads.